Hello! Welcome to North Suburban Library District's special Butterfly Storytime. Today I will be sharing with you a story about a caterpillar that turns into a butterfly and I'll also be showing you how to make a butterfly craft. If you would like to see some real butterflies, register for the North Suburban Library District Nicholas Conservatory event by calling or stopping by Children's Services at either NSLD Library location. Pre-registration is required in order to attend, so be sure to sign up for your time slot today. Once upon a time, there was a really little caterpillar that was so hungry. He went out searching for food. He found an apple and ate through it, but he was still hungry. Next, he found two pears that he ate through, but he was still hungry. The next thing he found were three plums. They were yummy, but he was still hungry. Next, he came across four strawberries. He ate through all of those, but he was still hungry. The next thing the caterpillar found were five oranges. He ate through them all, but he was still hungry. Well, he then came across all kinds of good food. He found a piece of cake, an ice cream cone, a pickle, a piece of cheese, and a salami. He was still hungry. So he ate through a sucker, a piece of pie, a hot dog, a cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. He wasn't hungry anymore. He had a stomach ache. He found a nice green leaf and ate all the way through it until his stomach felt better. He wasn't a really little hungry caterpillar anymore. He was a great big fat caterpillar. He turned into a little cocoon and had to stay that way for quite a while. But when he came out, he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. The craft I'll be showing you how to make today is your very own little butterfly. Let's get started. The first thing you wanna do to make your little butterfly is you're going to fold each of your cupcake liners into a little triangle. So we'll do that for both of them, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. You can cut a little bit like this to make it look more like a butterfly wing, but you don't have to. If you want to, you can do that. Then, You'll want to take markers, crayons, paint, whatever you want to use, and draw some designs on your wings. I'm going to make some waves here. Make some spots. Remember that butterflies' wings are symmetrical, so you're going to want to do the same thing on each wing. All right, there's that. Now you can decorate it more. I'm just doing a quick one here. The next thing you'll do is get your clothespin. Glue three pom-poms onto your clothespin. This will be your caterpillar's ouch body. There we go. We have some sticker eyes that you'll be able to put on your butterfly. I'm gonna make them wacky. One up and one down. He's a wacky butterfly. You have um, a pipe cleaner to make your antenna. You'll wanna fold it in half in a V. Maybe curl the ends a little bit with your hands. And then all you do is open your clothespin, stick the wings in there, and stick the antenna in there. And then you have a little butterfly. Easy peasy. Enjoy. If you would like to make your own butterfly craft, stop by Children's Services at either NSLD Library location during the month of April while supplies last. Also, don't forget to register to visit some real butterflies. Space is limited.